Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Polans. The peaceful, peaceful. We're at war. What? We're peaceful. Okay. We're we're peacekeepers. There's gonna be a battle here, uh, possibly. Yes. Okay. So we need to reinforce this. Riga does not want to help. Oh, he does want to help. Okay. We arrive on the twenty second. So here comes Jan, the good leader. Jan, who rolls a shock value one. Nice job, Jan. Jan, I'm getting really sick of this, Jan. We got more reinforcements coming in on the fourth and the fifth. Not that we we're, we're probably not going to need those, but all right. Looks like Hungary is retreating to Goldingen. We have 12 war score. He's back on high enthusiasm because he thinks he's making gains or something? No, he thinks we're making gains, but... I guess he trained a couple extra mercs or something and he... He's feeling confident. How are we doing on favors? Five there, five there. Okay, well... We're so low on manpower... That I am just gonna consolidate. Tragedy Strikes August has tragically died. August. August has tragically died. Let us play for his pray for his soul. August? August is the new heir, though. I think what happened there is that the previous heir from Mecklenburg died, and it gave us the name of the new heir. Tax Lomberg. A 354. It's pretty good, actually. Could we go ahead and like put him in charge? That sounds great. Also canceled military access between episodes because I forgot about it and I had turned off the alert. Oh, you know what changed as well? I, I don't have occupied and besieged provinces on that anymore. That's that's what happened. Okay, Hungary is going to be here soon, and we will not be done with the siege until the beginning of next month, which means he's gonna come here and he's gonna fight this army. We're just gonna abandon that siege and back off. Come on, buddy. I don't even really want much from you. Hungary's having a really hard time reinforcing up here. Our heir is a bold fighter. Ooh, now that's a guy I can get behind. How is it that I have no leader here? I don't have any of my siege pip guys here. Leave that leader behind. Hopefully Hungary's going home. I'm gonna lose the war goal temporarily, it looks like. Hungary's got some probably mercs there. That one gap, one gap in the fort is letting them send everything through. We've got six days. We will be there on the fifth. Yep, we're too slow. Oh, he broke the siege! That's so nice of him. And now we can still catch him, probably. We'll have insufficient support. I wonder if it's even necessary. Evidently, yes. Alright, well, let's try to take the fight. Even with insufficient support, I'd rather just do that fight. We have more troops on the way, which will get rid of the ins insufficient support. I'm assuming Riga has tech. Of course he did. Everyone's on tech 5 by now. It's a pretty massive uh, penalty to tactics, but when you've got bigger numbers, it kind of makes up for it anyway. Did you please stop sieging my capital? That's really rude.
Okay, where's the war score coming from? Ten battles. We've won, like, every single battle. Next month we get a ticking war score. Maybe that'll do it. Competent cousin. Okay. Cool. You guys are kind of sieging a bit too many men here. I'm going to tell Lithuania to stop being supportive for a moment. Actually, let's tell them to be siege-focused and then give them a target. Maybe we can get Lithuania to, to like stop suffering extra attrition for no reason at all. Okay, do we risk falling behind on military tech with tactics, combat with, infantry fire, and infantry shock in favor of... Military tech cost direction. I think we gotta at least take this before we take the next military tech. Besides, I don't have the Renaissance yet, so yeah, let's take that. Armenia still isn't dead. If we can end this war, maybe. Lithuania, where are you going, buddy? Are you gonna actually siege siege it? I told you where to siege. Go siege it. Where is Riga retreating to? Lithuania, I told you to siege it. I told you to be aggressive. What are you doing? Okay, aggressive doesn't work. He doesn't want to help. <laughs> He's just saying no. Okay, well, at least he's not suffering attrition for no reason. We need that manpower for the next war. Now, at this point, we're actually at... ...pretty good chance to take this soon. Alright, I guess we'll stick into the war for a little bit longer. And I don't want to deal with Hungary. I assume Hungary is very enthusiastic. But if we get lucky and we get the siege before there's a real threat to my capital, then maybe we'll take some land. If not, then we'll just peace out and call it good. Again, the main goal of this war was to just get Moldavia being a helpful march again. And they are, so... That's good. They won't, oh god, they got a breach in my capital. Okay, we can do stuff with estates again. That's cool. Oh man, it's been 20 years already. I get to do clicks. I can take points. Some of them. If the <laughs> if the nobles were actually loyal, I could demand more military points again. That's cool. It's kind of tempting to give them one more province, grant monopoly charters, and then and then bump up development in the capital, force the uh, the Renaissance to to get here a little bit quicker. Because at this rate, it's it's still going to be. Probably another 10 years, I think, until we get the Renaissance. It's still got a... You know, Bohemia hasn't even embraced it yet. And it's going to be... 5 years until he gets it on a border province. Okay, well, I can't risk him assaulting, so... If he would give me a peace deal, I would accept. Please stop occupying that land. find that to be very rude. 10% chance that everything goes wrong right now. Nope. Instead, we got a Defender's Desert here, plus two Siege status. I mean, we could keep chancing it. I could change the Edict over to Defensive. I mean, that does buy me an extra 10 days. Let's see. 23 days on their tick versus 26 days. What the hell? Let's do it. Aha, we're faster than you now. It gives us a 14% chance. <laughs> I really don't like this him sitting on my capital thing. We need this. Come on, we need this. It could happen. Disease outbreak, that's not at all what I wanted. 
don't even want to look. No! No! Not cool, man. We get a disease outbreak and they succeed. How fair is that? Not fair at all, is the answer. Still, he thinks I'm making gains, which is always nice. It's just that massive Hungarian manpower pool. Alright, Lithuania, I want you to be supportive now. Me, Lithuania, we've got work to do, buddy. No, what are you doing, Lithuania? You're getting caught, man. Is he? 26th? 22nd? He's getting caught. That's not good. Well, he's crossing a river, but no maneuver. Pretty good general. I have to reinforce it. If we lose this battle, then it's over. But if I try to reinforce with this army, then I can't leave anybody behind because... Alright, what if we try this? Don't attach to this army anymore. And let's just, just do that. He should try to go and attach to this army now. But he's got to go a weird direction, which is not what I wanted. Alright, never mind, I was just kidding. Stay here. Sit. Did you just get rid of a troop? How did you get rid of a troop? I think he just got rid of a troop. It said 7k a second ago, now it says 6k. Where? Okay, okay. I was like, where did he go? He disappeared. Okay, he's back to sieging, that's why. That just confused the hell out of me. I thought he deleted his whole army. Well, come on, Lithuania. Roll well. Jan rolls a 2. This is a horrible fight. But we got that Gallia! Cool. We can occupy and besiege the capital now. That's far more important, I think, than trying to reinforce more of this fight. Nice 9 in the shock phase versus a negative 2! Oh my god! This, like, this never happens. This never happens. This is some pretty epic fail rolls for Hungary right there. And we have absolutely zero manpower. And yet his enthusiasm is quite high because he's got my capital. Because the game doesn't like me or want me to be happy. And even a little bit happy. Cossack aggression. This matter is beyond our control. The Cossacks gain influence and uh, they gain loyalty. Bohemia gets upset with me by a bit. We get border friction with them. They're our ally. They really like me. I think we're fine. Sorry, man. Cossacks gonna be Cossacks. Alright. Unfortunately, Warsaw is worth 10 war score. You have 5 war exhaustion, buddy. Come on. You need to give this up. Okay, well, I hope Hungary doesn't actually try to go for this, this fight here, because I can't beat him. There's the medium enthusiasm that I need. There's the white piece that I need. It'll actually give me money. Let's get uh, occupied and besieged on Warsaw, which should actually count. 
So right now we got Occupied and Besieged is at 17. And if I put this army there on the 21st, we are at what? Still 17. Okay, I guess it doesn't count. It's fine. All right, whatever. I Yeah, this, it, did, it did what it needed to do. We're leaving this war. So far, we've done nothing but get some Cossacks and then get shut down by an alliance chains that I couldn't deal with and stuff. Kazan is currently getting wrecked. Muscovy's having a good time over here. I don't like that. Well, let's see if there's anyone who wants Kunateri, if there's anything I can actually do to, like, recover troops here. We also have, like, no manpower at all, so that's fun. And in theory, we're supposed to be going to war with the Teutons in four years. We could now actually turn around and attack Novgorod. That'd probably be a good way to go. Maybe wait just a couple months, get the war exhaustion down, and then... We defended him, and now we attack him. Brandenburg, still no air. Why do I have such negative diplo rep? Annexed subjects. Fair enough. Now that they're very loyal, let's also divert trade again. We could just place relative on the throne, which I think would... Wouldn't that satisfy this? Or is that different? No, that's different. You gotta actually have a union to get that. Well, we got 1.5 war exhaustion. I think I forgot completely to... No, I did. I did remember to revoke it. Cool. We got Podolia that needs to get converted. Part of this state here. We could turn on that edict. Take the conversion speed to a much better number here. Yeah, I think I'm going to start converting again. While we have that Inquisitor. I get that religious unity up. Okay, so is it time then to maybe just go crazy on Diplo development? Like, what does our capital make? It makes cloth. Be a pretty good thing to, to develop then. We could get up to as much development as possible and to make some cash, it also make the uh, the devastation go away. And I definitely need a fort here to prevent them from doing that again. That was really irritating. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. I think we uh, grant monopoly charters, get the discount from the burgers. 10, 5, 10, 10. Devastation's increasing it slightly, but... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at 37 per click. And I gotta do something to grow. I can't just never do anything. Oh shoot, I forgot the uh, the state edict. 1465 in December. So if I wait till December, I could get an extra 10%. Hmm. That's probably worthwhile. But if I do that, these guys won't be loyal anymore. Decisions, decisions. I think it's better to just do it now, rather than wait. Okay, do we straight up buy the Renaissance? Mm.
it's already going to go pretty quickly. And I don't really care about tech. We don't really have the Monarch points to take the tech soon anyway, so... Yeah, no, I think we just enjoy the fact that Warsaw now makes lots of cloth. And, uh... We'd be happy about that. And that should finally give us extra Splendor Generation. Thank you. Starting next month. Okay. Hopefully Novgrad wins his war, and then because he's so, like, not happy about how things are going, he'll mothball that fort, and then that'll be when we declare. And if not that, then we'll find some other way to expand at some point. Finally, we're debt-free. We're making cash now. Check that out. We have five forts with 245 development. That's the, the right ratio. And this whole time, we've been using a level two uh, guy as well. Saxony cites, cites succession on Brandenburg. War of Brunswickian succession. Damn. I was looking at Brandenburg. Defender against Saxony. So Brunswick's going to get a union over Brandenburg now. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like that. Not at all what I wanted. Brandenburg still has no heir. But he's at war. And uh, he's in a war for that, so... Wait, chance of Brandenburg inheriting... Did I read it backwards? Is it a union over Brunswick? Ah, it's the other way around. Okay, it's... Brandenburg has the union over Ansbach and Brunswick, so we actually really, really do want to do this because we could potentially do something here. Tell you what, we will um, top off relations with him. I don't really want to go over the relationship limit any further. And so I just spent so many Diplo points on that, that thing. And here goes the Livonian Order, trying to uh, actually do that siege. Zan is just going to be wrecked. They've, they've, there've got to be some rebels or something building up in Muscovy. He can't be this stable. How strong is he right now? How many troops do you have? Muscovy has 16k manpower again. Man, he's just... just rocking it. Muscovy's got less income than I do, and yet he's kicking ass. Whatever. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. <laughs> I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.